YouTube what's going on I can't stay I'm a little late I have an 1130 appointment it's like 1115 I am on my way to the barbershop I haven't had a haircut in almost three weeks now so we're going for a cut today I'm going to keep it really simple but I think I'm gonna go back with my Nefertiti look I really really love that look and I feel like it's like real different from Haiti so this is what I'm wearing today I'm just wearing like a crop top right and then some fashion nova jeans these are the only jeans that fit me youtube because i lost a little bit of weight so everything else is loose on me i like that i like that you know we are not complaining or anything um so i'm going to use i'm oh yeah so i'm wearing my purse like this little purse right there this one one of my gifts from my sister it's letter made it is from home it is from haiti so this is pretty what i'm wearing my driver is already waiting for me um i was going to say something so when i get to i am in a nice relaxed mood so when i do get to the salon i will vlog for you guys okay all right catch up with you guys later what's going on so i just came from about maybe like 20 minutes ago i came from the barbershop i went back with my neck to the cut and I'll show you after. So just a clean cut, you know, design. I don't know what she thinks that I'm doing. Like every time I have the camera here, she wants by me. Like, like that makes my editing like you know because I gotta edit. I don't want you guys to see something. But anyway, I feel okay, you know, it's very hot, but it, then again, it's 1 o'clock, it's 1 p.m., so it's very, very sunny, it's pretty hot where I am right now, and um, they're going to, I'm going to soak up my nails, because you guys know that I do the, um, hold on, there's something else with her, she always had a lot of nails, but I think that we have the camera on my but anyway, um, so I am going to soak up my nails, right? Because I'm doing a full set. Now let me show you guys what happens. I I'm not doing the um, SNL, and first of all, I just want to be in and out. That's the first thing. Second of all, the SNL, the thing with it is like you gotta buff it a lot because if you don't buff it, it's a powder, the deepening powder. You gotta you gotta put it in such a way that. Um, you know, it, it's smooth because between the cuticle and the powder. Cause let me show you. You see this white things around? This is me putting um, um, glue, some um, crazy glue on it. Uh, my nail tech is not here. I hope she's there, like, cause I need to be in and out. Because you guys know that there's like a little bit of insecurity going on in the country. So by the by, by the time that it's dark, everybody's gone. So thank God, like. Je n'ai pas vu elle un chemin, s'il te plaît. Oui, elle est au dehors, oui. On m'a dit qu'elle est devant, mais elle n'est jamais rentrée. Yeah, I want to be in and out. You know, she's not here. And I text her when I got to the barbershop. There were, I had access to the internet. So I text her, I was like, I'm on time. And I was on time. So how am I? I'm very sad. Should I? Okay. So how am I? I'm very satisfied with the haircut. The barber is a G. I get that. Cause I brought my picture from the States with the Nefertiti cut. Like like I said, the sides were normal. I'll show you when I'm done. The sides were normal, but it was just the back. Remember how the back was going down? I didn't like it. I felt like I didn't like the look. Now, remember, I think I said that to you guys before. I wanted a look that nobody has in Haiti. Too many people got the mohawk going on, so I was not going to go back with my mohawk. I was trying to think about like, okay, what could you do that would be like so different? And I knew that it was gonna be the Nefertiti look. Like the Nefertiti look at itself, cause I have like pretty much big hair, it's really sly. So I'm very satisfied with it. As soon as I came in, I showed him the picture of what I wanted, right? And um, he, he asked me, he was like, no, he asked me twice. He was like, no design. I was like, no, no design. Yes, my name is like no design. I said no, no design. So I told him what I wanted. I didn't want like to have everything cut from the top. Excuse me. 
piece. I didn't want to have everything cut from the top like you would go to. I just wanted a little bit. He did, he did a very, very good job. He took a long time. He took about an hour, 45 minutes with my hair. So I definitely took him well. I saw the owner coming and going, coming and going, trying to figure out if I was going to do the design. I mean, I'm telling you, the other barbers asking me, are you cheap? Like, she's the one that designed, like, people are so much in your business in Haiti. So everything went good. The dad, you know, was, he did, like, like I said to you, very nice design. Let me tell you what happened. Now, you guys are really going to think that I'm making these things up, right? I am so not making these things up, guys. You guys are going to think that I'm making these things up, but I'm not making these things up. So tell me why. Pretty much when I walked in, my guy had, um, hold on. Sorry, my nail tech just walked in. Walking, walking like she's not late. I had to get at her. Like, I'm late. I told you guys, like, that's one thing with me. I cannot tell you. People be, like, when I come to the summer, we should eat. So pretty much when I walked in, let me tell you what happened at the barber shop. Right? So tell me why. Um, pretty much when I walked in, there was um, the barber had one guy, right? And the one guy that he had, the one lady that he was working with, she was about to be done with her hair, right? And then afterwards, I have a headache, guy. Like this side of my head, this head, it gave my headache. So. Um, he was pretty much done with, with her within like 20 minutes that I was here. And then afterwards, oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish the story because she's about to put my nails in there. And then, I'm going to tell you how to do this. I'm going to tell you how to do this. I'm going to tell you how to do this. I'm going to so she said like I gotta be jealous for everything. So yeah, so okay, so he had like that one client. So he was done with her within 20 minutes and then he started to work with me. So me as he was starting within like 25 to 30 minutes of him working with me, there was a guy walking. The guy was his client because the guy sat in front of us, right? Guys, you guys are really gonna think that I make these things up, but I, I am not making these things up. So the guy sits in front of us. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to tell you the story right now. I'll tell you the story maybe when I get home because I gotta put my nails soaked, okay? Hello. 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 And then I added some glitter on top of it. So I kind of mix it to give it like a different vibe. And with the other hand. Um, they're a little short. It's because these two nails were broken, like from over here from the middle. So I was wearing like I had added some nails on it. So um you know, we decided like we were not going to add any more nails, you know, let them breathe a little bit and add some nails. So that's why these ones are, the middle ones are a little like really short compared to everything and I, and I trim everything down. So right now it's all my nails. But this nail is not all my nails, I had to add it. That's the thing with long, long nails is like sometimes they break and they break from the middle. So I always have to be careful with not letting them too long because I actually wear my natural nails. And I also feel like the powder, we talked about that, like the, the products that they use is not really always good. You know, like the quality is not the best. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. Um, you know, she took a long time. We talked and chatted. I was her only client for the day. So um, I should be heading home in about 30 minutes since it's not, it's about to be 5 o'clock, you know. So I'll have time, um, you know, 
to get home on time so that I don't have to rush. I love it like that. It's actually Thursday, so um, I'm very surprised that there's not too many clients for the day. So everybody will get to go home, to go home at five. Tomorrow I may film if I and I may also film on Sunday. Now tomorrow I have oh yeah I'm waiting on a reply. Tomorrow I have a collaboration video, but something happened here and I'm thinking about making a video on because if you guys know the there is supposedly um I have to wear my glasses when I do my nails because I really can't see for anything. I can't see from far away, so if I really need to see if I'm doing anything, I, I have to wear my glasses. So yeah, tomorrow um, I want to film a video for you guys about because something happened, and I want to film a video for you guys about um, what you need to be on the look up, on the lookout for coming to Haiti, especially now because you know the insecurity has risen up in terms of kidnapping and stuff like that. So I want to talk about that. So that's a video and that's going to be based on what happened to me here which I'll talk to you about tomorrow. So I was telling you and I was giving you the story of what happened and at the barbershop. I really hope like they're playing music and I'm really hoping that um, you guys it's like the video is not going to be penalized. Like the last time I made a video and that music was playing, the video was not penalized. It's kind of a girl who just walked by, you know. Um, so anyways, I was telling you guys that I went to the barbershop. You guys can see my energy is a little low, right? It's a little low because of something that just happened right now. And I'll tell you about that, but not now. We'll probably talk about that, if not tomorrow when I film, then over the weekend when I'm more relaxed. But we'll talk about what happened. I know at this point you guys are going to tell like, well, every time like some shit happened at the salon. Unfortunately, you know, I'm just a more direct person. I'm the I'm a black and white person. So, you know, Haiti really, you know, it does something to me because sometimes it's like I don't let things slide by me. You know, obviously you guys can see that from now. I don't like to let things slide by me. So that's the reason why I gotta be like, I'll, I'll talk to you about that tomorrow anyway. So let's talk about what happened at the barbershop today. So today, like I said to you, the barber was working for me and as it was working, within 20, min within 20 minutes of working with me, a client worked in, his client, right? Um, the guy was sitting in front of me and my barber was working. So. 20 minutes into the style, you know, he was cleaning up. Like, he took a long time. He took about 45 minutes for my hair. So that's when the, the cut started to come up. Now, remember what I said to you. It's really a cut that I love to rock, especially not only in Haiti. Because it's like, it's not the common cut that you find on women, especially in Haiti. So, um, I love to rock it, you know, because it's like, you know, I like the attention. But it's just really for me. I just like different things. So... The man is sitting down, right? But behind him, there's like um, glasses, like mirrors, right? And the barber is working, so, you know, there's like mirror. The way the barber is, you know, it's a barber shop, so all around us is mirrors so that the barber is get to turn the chairs around, you know. And something tells me, as the barber is working with me, right? Something tells me to, um, look up because my head was down something tells me look up so I look up and when I look up I could see the reflection of the camera of the phone that the guy was holding like his phone is all black but the thing with it is like behind him there was the mirrors right so I could see the reflection of the mirror and what I saw was that this guy was trying to take a picture of myself while I was sitting down in front of him Guys, I was so fucking livid. I, my entire body language changed, my entire facial expression changed, and I just stared him down. Like, the thing with it, he got so shocked that he was getting caught. I saw he put the phone down, but then I was staring him down. I don't, like I said to you, okay, let me tell you. It's not so much. Listen, I can switch up. Like I, I'm not a 
look like this. type of woman. That's not my style. Like I'm not. So if I start to talk to you and you are you are in the wrong, I'm not going to argue. Like legit, I could fight. Like sincerely, guys. I don't play. I can fight. So that's why I don't have any altercation with people. I do what I'm supposed to do. I keep a low profile. I have no fucking friends. I don't drink outside. Like anything that I know that could make me go out of character, I try to like stay away from it. But today I left my house. I was in an extremely great, great, great mood, right? So I'm looking at the man and I know that he saw that I looked at him. So right now he's ashamed, right? He has his head down looking at the floor. But now I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait for him to make eye contact with me and then I'm going to ask him, like, what the fuck are you doing? But he never makes eye contact with me. But I know that he saw that I saw him. So I get up from the chair, the barber is finally done with me. I get up from the chair, he sits on the chair, right? And right, so right in front of us, the mirror is there, so I'm cleaning myself up, right? Putting my earrings on, cleaning the, myself up. And, um... So, so the, the barber puts in the robe in front of him. Not a robe, you know, the thing that you put to do people's hair. So he has both of his hands, his arms under the thing. Tell me why when I bent, when I, I put my head down so I can take my money off my purse to pay this Negro has worn his right arm out with the fucking front, guys. With the goddamn front. At this point, I just legit stood in front of him and I just looked at him again. He did not look at me. He kept his head down. So I come here and I say this to my nail tech and I'm like, let me tell you what happened at the salon, at the barbershop. And I'm explaining to her, look at this. This is, it's like, she, when I say this to her, she's like, um, I cannot believe that um, this guy did this to you. Like, you should have really asked him what was his problem. That I said to her, well, the thing with it is like, he was trying to be discreet, but he got caught. So it's not like I could come out of my way and be like, give me the fucking phone, what are you doing, you know? But I know that he saw that I was catching, like getting to him. But that's the thing about like a country like Haiti. Like, I remember for the two years ago in 2017, I went to visit someone that I thought that was a friend. She was absolutely not a friend. We'll talk about that over the weekend. And mind you, she hit me up over two weeks ago. She wrote to me on Instagram. I blocked her so fast, guys. So fucking fast, right? I remember that lady. She took me to a restaurant in Leogan. Leogan is a different province and I'm part of Prince. So when we get to this place, the owner is very nice. The owner is like treating us with um, some local drink that they had and then some appetizer. He's like really serving us and doing these things, right? And tell me why, excuse me, this girl, every time I have the camera on, she wants to walk around me like, girl, I don't give a fuck about you. But anyway, so, um, um, I was gonna say something. Yeah, so I'm telling you the story of that girl. So it's me and her, and then she has another friend who joins us, right? So I'm sitting, I have my back to the wall, and the other girls, they are like sitting in front of me. And this guy walks in, right? This guy walks in. He's ordering something, but he is at a table that is adjacent to our table. This guy does the same shit. But this time, he's not even trying to be discreet. But this girl were what we call women now girl. They were wild in our girls. So when this guy took out his phone, and then I looked at him like, what is this guy doing? The girl who had invited me into town, she knew the director, the general director of like some type, some, some type of like quote unquote big guy. So when I say to the guy, what? She saw a fella. He acted like it was normal, like like he just had the phone, but you know, like I could see that he was trying to take like a picture or something of myself. So my friend jumps from her chair and then she starts wilding out. And 
then the owner comes in to the point where this guy had to and then the guy he felt a little particular he didn't know who i was you know the owner felt really embarrassed and you know so they started to raise their voice so he left the place that was the first time when I went to Logan. That's why I was like, I don't think I would ever go to Logan anymore because it's like, I was like, I had never experienced that. And being in Haiti, like I had never experienced like, we say monkey back on the moon, like I had never experienced that. Like, because it's like, I love to go to the countryside. I'm always in my home town, which is Gambian. I mean, yes, I do have a different type of style. And people might come in and people might compliment me. People might say like them. People might say things like that. But to have someone just take out your phone and try to take your picture, especially like, like it's so freaking like creepy, creepy. Like not even disrespectful, creepy. So to have this happen to me today from a guy that you would never like. You should have seen the guy. The guy was in a suit, okay, in a not even like a real suit. Like he, he was wearing like uh, a long sleeve shirt, probably in between, looking like he was in between breaks from work. So it's kind of like you would not expect something like that to happen to you. Like how do you just take my? How do you are you trying to attempt to take my picture? So you know, it's been. Since December, I haven't really been out in the street. Since the last time that I tell you, I, I sort of like, I feel like the way that I, that my my entire demeanor is set up. Well, I probably do need to travel also. Like I'm overdue to be out of this country. Like because I don't believe that Haiti is a place if you leave elsewhere, like where people don't do random shit like that. I don't believe that Haiti is a place for me that you could just stay there for a long period of time like this shit could just, would just drive you crazy to have um, these people do things like that so that's really what happened to me um, at the barbershop so I come here and um, something else happens to me um, I mean I'm not gonna let that you know mess up my day because like I said to you I've been having like some superb times like refreshing like just being like really really good it's just like it's really really annoying to have people come and just do like some weird things to me things that are weird but now the reason that i'm not even facing to you is that right now i actually have someone who's legit standing right next to me and looking at me filming for you guys this is why like i know that i said in the channel that i really wanted to vlog and i really wanted to do other things but i just really I'm just not really in the um, mood to do these type of things. So anyway, that's my vlog for the day. I should be leaving here soon. Like my nails or my, I know my toes are dry. Um, my nails should be dry. I don't think that I'm going to wash my hair today just because I want my nails to be completely, completely, completely dry. This chick is like right next to me. When I tell you that I cannot stand her, it's like, is it the first time that you've ever seen someone with a camera like in front of you? She's like right next to me, guys. Like I wish she knew how to speak English, but thank goodness she doesn't know how to talk English because it's kind of like, anyway, so I am going to, um, I have to make sure that she knows that I'm talking about her, like looking at her and like, thank God she doesn't really know how to speak English. But yeah, my nails are almost done, almost dried up, and um, I should be heading home soon. It's going to take about like 15 minutes to get to my house. I will not wash my hair today. I will wash my hair in the morning. That's what I want to do. I'm going to wash my I washed my hair yesterday. So today, I'm, tomorrow, I think I'm just going to like co-wash my hair. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, and I should be leaving soon. So thank you so much for being with me in the vlog. I know we started off like they really like nice and um, having like a good vibe but unfortunately I still have my vibe you know I'm not gonna let what happened at the salon it's nothing big for people here but I'm very particular and I have to go to the goddamn um, I don't think I'm gonna go to the supermarket I think I'm gonna send the lady off tomorrow to go get the things that I need it's just a few stuff just because I just wanna go home and just you know all right, guys, thank you so, 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 so much for watching the vlogs for me, and I will see you tomorrow.